Hi, I'm Matt Hodges with GeoPro. Today we're going to do a walk around of the 7822DT to highlight some of its features and functions. What's really cool about the 7822DT is its versatility and the ability to do multiple functions with one machine. How about we start with the control panel? Up top here are the drilling functions. From your winch one, winch two, your rotary, your head feed up and down, and your direct push hammer. Moving down is the MD4 screen. This is a touch screen, but also in the field, if you don't wanna use the touch screen, you have the ability to control the screen with these buttons here. You can toggle between screens using the joystick here and your inner button. Down here, we have toggle switches versus the older style rocker switches. You have your potentiometer, you have your moil on and off, you have your automatic drop hammer, you have your regen and CPT controls, and then you have your rotary from your low side, one and two, to your high side of the four speed, three and four. Down here, you have your mast movement functions. You have your telescoping winch mast, you have your rotary head, you can move it out to use or move it back in to store. You have your oscillation, your waggle left and right, mast up and down, your mast in and out, or your mast fold and stand up. Down below here, this machine is equipped with an optional seven inch breakout clamp and wrench. Your controls are down here from your clamp to your hydraulic powered wrench. Next, we'll move to the features of the mast. When it comes to the mast, we'll start with the optional DH-103 automatic drop hammer. This is an option and it comes with a 140 pound slug. There are other weighted slugs available per your preference. Next, we've got the two and four speed rotary head. Two speed has the capacity of 4,000 foot pounds of torque and up to 150 RPM. The four speed head also has up to 4,000 foot pounds of torque in low gear, but has up to 750 RPM which makes it a great choice for rock coring. Then you move down to the GH60 direct push hammer. And then you move down here to the seven inch breakout. You've got your clamp jaws and your hydraulic powered wrench. Now let's move on to the driller side of the rig. The 7822DT comes with a wireless remote. This gives you the ability to track the machine forward, reverse, also gives you the ability to throttle up and down to move the blade on the back up and down. And then it also comes with a tethered remote. This gives you the ability to move the tracks forward and reverse, as well as the blade up and down. This machine is equipped with a fire extinguisher, as well as four e-stops. One here on the operator side, one on the helper side, one on the control panel, and also one next to the mast. There's also additional e-stops, one on each of the remotes. This machine is equipped with an optional 60 inch hydraulic extruder and a 3L6 Moino. There are different options available like a 2L4 Moino if that's what you would prefer. Next, let's move to the back of the machine. Here on the back of the machine, you'll notice we have three different service compartments. The first one houses the fuse boxes, the battery, as well as allows you to have the master disconnect on and off. The second one, is where you can fill it with diesel. Also have your fuel filters. Then the third one is where you can reach most of the engine. You can fill your hydraulic fluid. Also, you can hold your owner's manual here as well. Next, we'll move on to the blade. The blade is, uh, is multifunctional for stabilization out in the field, as well as carrying your drop rack to and from the job site. Next, Let's move to the helper side of the rig. Here on the helper side, you'll notice that this 7822 is equipped with the optional five foot rod rack. The cool thing about the 7822DT is that with the frame rail design, you're able to equip the machine with different options of toolboxes or rod racks. As I mentioned before, the helper side is equipped with an e-stop as well as a wireless connection for your remote. Also, it comes with an anvil hanger for your anvil drive caps for your SPT use. And that concludes the quick walk around of the 7822DT. 
For any other questions or more information, you can visit us at geoprobe.com.